get beyond it. So one of the things I want to do that's going to help us to find that courage is to choose a collective symbol of strength for ourselves. All right? We've got five choices here. Okay? So we've got the lioness. Despite the fact that she's smaller than a male lion, the lionesses do most of the hunting. They work collectively together to take down prey way larger than themselves. Pretty cool, because they got to take care of the little ones. They got to take care of the pride. Great natural symbol of strength. Okay, That's your first option. Second option, you've got this World War II cultural icon of Rosie the Riveter. As the guys went off to war, the girls took to the shipyards and the factories so that they could keep production going. Rosie became a symbol of strength and a symbol of us making it happen and making it work. So that's a great symbol, too. Now, for the guys in the room, I knew I was in a majority woman, so I picked a lot of female symbols. But these are all real strong human and regular you know, symbols, so you'll, you'll identify. Then we know Wonder Woman, right? The Amazon princess who was trained to be an unconquerable warrior on an island paradise. Yeah, if I had that upbringing, I'd look like that too. <laughs> but no doubt, she is a strong symbol of strength. All right? Then you've got some real human symbols. Malala Yousafzai. When she was 12 years old, she got shot by the Taliban for going to school, for fighting for girls' rights to go to school. And they hunted her down, and they shot a 12-year-old child. <laughs> and now she is a 22-year-old world rights advocate continuing to fight for rights. You want to talk about discomfort? She's jumping in. She's the youngest Nobel Peace Laureate in the world. And then we've got Oprah, incredible woman who rose up from a poor upbringing with a single mom in rural Mississippi to become the richest African American in the 20th century, often called the most influential woman in the world. So we've got five incredible symbols here. And the cool thing about a talk like this is there's not going to ever be a time where each and every one of us, and only each and every one of us, is in a room together. So together, we're going to pick a symbol of strength. So you guys have cell phone? Get out your phone. You can either do this via te text or via, OK, cool. You can either do it via text or you can go online. If you go to the website, pollev.com backslash annbonnie389, you'll just see the poll. You can take it right there. Or you can text. 22333, that's the phone number, and the message is Ann Bonnie 389 Now, this isn't going to put you on some mailing list or anything. Don't worry, I'm not going to spam you. But you can put in your answer. If you're texting, you send the message to Ann Bonnie 389 and then you, it'll say, hey, welcome. When you're ready, go ahead and put an answer, and you just put A through E. So which strong female character do you identify with? We got Lioness. Votes for Lioness so far. Oh, we got a lot of lions in here. I'm a Leo, personally, so I'm all about that. Nice. I think we know who our, who our symbol is. I think that's all. You're voting A? You can vote verbally. No, I voted B because oh. we just rolled out a product called, um, and our logo that we're using is Rosie the oh, Renovator. Oh, cool. Oh, Rosie the Renovator. <laughs> but you wanted the lion. OK, got it. Well, a lot of people are going with the lioness where it's 60% there. So we're going to go with the lioness. Because sometimes it's good to be able to identify with something strong when you're in a situation where we've got to pull that courage. Okay, So that's going to be our collective symbol of strength right there for the day. Okay, So that puts us in a good spot. 